how you guys doing so I had a little time not much so I figured I'd walk to this one little corner here have like nothing with me pack of baits a couple hooks and this tiny little rod but uh, it'll give me a little time out on the water and hopefully it'll get me a couple of little fish um, I don't know let's see how it goes All right, so I came out today and I only brought two baits with me. And I plan on fishing them both at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rig this tadpole up on a drop shot hook and about a foot below it, I'm gonna have this uh, Helgramite on a Ned rig. And that way they can work in unison. All right, so for rigging this up, I'm just gonna make sure I have enough line. I'm gonna put it right through the eye of the hook, put some slack through and then put it right back through. And then I'm just going to tie a polymer knot right on that. I know um, a lot of people put the hoop through, but for me it's always been a little bit easier to just put it through twice than to uh, put the loop through. But you know, the polymer knot's basically just taking that loop and tying an overhand knot and then putting it over the hook. Moisten it up a little bit before you really cinch it down. And then make sure it's facing that right direction I go through the top first then back through the bottom and that gives it a nice good orientation for that drop shot presentation all right now I'm going to toss on the Midwest finesse or also known as the Ned rig and for that I uh, actually tend to use the uninot I know a lot of people really like the polymer um, I don't know I use the unit quite a bit but uh, you know whatever it is you're comfortable with is what you should use because after all you are the one fishing it so it does take a little bit longer for the unit knot the polymer is faster but you know it is what it is like I said you are the one fishing it so um, for the unit I go through I go up back down and with that little uh, hole that I created by going back down I wrap it around seven times I know a lot of people go six but I go seven times around the two of them through that hoop moisten it and pull it tight and there you go Helgramite on the uh, Midwest finesse hook or Ned rig um, I usually go right through the middle and right out the back now I measure it up beforehand so I know where I'm coming out of moisten it a little bit sometimes I'll heat it with a lighter that actually helps quite a bit but then you're dealing with a hot hook but once you know where you're coming out of, you just want to make sure you get right through that spot. I pull it all the way down and then too far and then pull it back out. That way it presses it in there nice and tight. And boom, there you go. All right, now to rig the tadpole and the drop shot, a lot of people just nose hook it. I know some people go all the way through. I kind of do a little bit of a mix. I kind of go right through kind of like the middle area. Um, I just have found that it has a good action on it. But that's not to say that you won't have a good action going through the nose or a bit further. But I just toss it right on right like that and back through and that works well for me. Alright so here I am. Got the tadpole and the Helgramite doubled up on this little kitty rod. Let's see if I can get something to bite. So normally I would try right over here that algae boom and that end there I'm thinking it's gonna be sucking out all the oxygen I'm gonna try right over here hopefully have a little luck oh that wind blew that right back <laughs> tiny rod no weight this is gonna be uh, a bit of a challenge finally got one out there it's tough chucking it with such a tiny rod and no weight
Ooh, I think I felt a little tick. Something little. There we go. <clears throat> well, not bad. I mean, little fish, but on a little pole. Not bad uh, for only being out a couple minutes, too. So, all right. Let's let this guy go. I'm gonna try and do that as gently as possible from here. I wanna give him a little bit of distance though. So. There we go. Nice. Well, I wasn't out very long, but I was able to get it rigged up, get one on him, and uh, now I can start heading back and still make it home in under the amount of time I told my wife I'd be gone. So, not bad for just a quick little lunch break fishing session, but uh, had fun, had beautiful weather. Thanks for joining in guys, fish with the best, Fish FX. How you guys doing? I'm gonna show you how to Texas rig a Nico Craw. So I got the magma on here, skip gap hook. It's already tied on with the bullet weight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right down this tail here. You're gonna see that little slit there. Just a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna run it all the way up past that skip gap bump. Then I'm gonna line it up, making sure I'm coming right out through the right area. I tend to even put my fingers right there just to make sure. Now don't poke your fingers. It's meant to be a guide, not a cutting board. And you just put it right through. And there you go. You can run that wheelless just by pulling it up. It's got a little slit in there and everything. So that's the Texas rigged Nico Cron under a minute. 